One of them attacks from the air while the other one on the ground. Hey guys, it's Miriam with lots of toys. Subscribe to our channel for lots of fun videos posted every day. Check out these fun new Transformers. This time we're opening Transformers Generations. The first toy we're going to be opening is Smokescreen. Smokescreen is actually part of the Deluxe class. These robots are actually part of Combiner Wars and they combine to form a giant robot. And Smokescreen combines to form Sky Rain. Here's some background info on Smokescreen. He's the resident fixer for the Autobots. When a fight goes wrong, he cleans up the mess. Using an array of disruptive and disorienting weapons, Smokescreen confuses his enemies and obscures his allies as they regroup for a punishing counter-attack. So he actually has a stealth mode, and he transforms into a car. Look at this, in a 10-step process. And then you combine him to form Sky Rain. So these robots actually combine together to form a giant robot. And as we open more of these, we'll show you the giant robot they all form. He's actually the leg of the big robot, Skyrene. But he does convert into a robot form of his own. These are super cool. I love the way that they all combine together. So you can collect them all and make a giant robot. Here's another fun robot we're going to open, and he's also part of Transformers Generations. One of them attacks from the air while the other one on the ground. Vortex is actually a Decepticon, and he actually transforms into a helicopter mode. And he is actually the arm of the robot that he combines to form. So he's the arm of Broticus. And here's some background info on him. Decepticon Vortex is the interrogator. The Decepticons call when they need someone to cough up information. He'll take his target for a wild ride, twisting, turning, looping, and diving through the sky. It's enough to make any bat cough up the secrets and then some. So today we're going to have Smokescreen versus Vortex. Who's going to win? Let's go ahead and open up our first one. You also get a comic book with these. This is awesome. And instructions on how to convert your robot. This is the 10-step process robot. Look at this, he's armored up. He's got a gun included. Oh, look, he looks pretty nimble. part of it done. Now we need to twist it over. Check it out. After you put them together, the wheels actually come out. And then everything flips over. Oh my goodness, this is fun. One thing that I did that was not allowing me to flip the wheels over was the fact that I did not actually tuck in the arms. So once I tuck them in, Everything seemed to be snapping into place better. So here's smoke screen. He's a really awesome race car. There's an extra claw here as well. It's a booster tool where you can actually fit the gun on top here as well. Look at this awesome. Now it's time to open Vortex, the Decepticon. And he does combine to form another robot, Bruticus. And he's actually the arm of Bruticus. And it does take 13 steps to convert him into a helicopter mode. So let's go ahead and open him. So this robot is part of Transformers Generations. got some tools we have to unbox. There's some kind of a claw and here's his weapon. So this is a pretty complex robot. So first of all let's go ahead and open up his blades to convert him. 
And this also lifts up, so the blades open and they lift up. You are supposed to rotate his middle after you push his feet together, but you have to hold tightly from here and his whole middle actually rotates. And then you open up the back on both sides Then these tuck in. It's really beginning to take shape. This is supposed to snap into place here and it does bring down the rotors and you have to twist his head up so what you do next is you pull up and back and then you snap the back into place here make sure the sides are actually snapped into place this is an awesome helicopter and this is Vortex he's in helicopter mode he has lots of missiles on the sides over here and of course he's got this tool let's see if we can fit it on the helicopter mode it fits on the bottom over here so he has guns he's ready to shoot and to land him you do have to remove his guns he does not have any wheels on the bottom which is kind of surprising here are the two opponents and of course they both have guns one of them attacks from the air while the other one on the ground Let's go ahead and convert them into robot mode now. There's one more step we need to do, and that's actually pull his arms out. That's a bit difficult to do. He's very flexible. All his joints actually move, including his arms. And they twist up so he can have a lot of fluid movement. Let's go ahead and convert Decepticon Vortex into a robot as well. Here they both are in robot mode and they are the same size. They both have weapons that actually fit on their arms. So look at this. Combiner Wars actually includes comic books. So with all Transformers that you buy, you get a comic book included. That's pretty neat. They're Transformers, robots in disguise. First up is Sideswipe. This is a different version that we've seen so far. There's a 10 step process to converting him. And look at that, he has a sword. We're also going to open Quillfire. He's a Decepticon. We're going to have Sideswipe versus Quillfire. Quillfire seems easier to convert, and look at that, he converts from a monster to a truck. Check him out! He's actually a different version than what we've seen so far. There are more details to him, and this version includes a sword for him. Let's go ahead and try to convert him and see how he works. He definitely has more loose parts. That's why there's a 10-step process to him. 
So here's what I have so far, and you can see the front of the car. This is definitely one of the harder robots to transform. It actually took me a while to figure out that the bottom portion of it, this one, it has more steps than it looks. So first of all, what you have to do is you twist this end, you push this end back, So it twists and rotates into place. And the same thing we need to do on the other side. So you turn it upside down, and then you take the back portion of it, this black portion, you lift it up and over. And then at the same time, you press it forward so that the wheel comes up. This is definitely not one of those easy to do robots, but it's fun once you get it done. Snap it into place. Here he is in robot mode, and it definitely takes a lot more to convert him. And he has this sword that's included. And now he's ready to take on Quillfire. This is going to be easier. He's the one step process robot. Check it out. He's a truck and he converts into a robot and he totally looks like a monster look at him he's got spikes on his back his arms come forward and he looks a little hunched to me doesn't he I guess that's the way he's supposed to be Let's go ahead and convert him into his truck mode. 
And this is an easy to do process, so let's see if we can figure it out. Everything snaps into place in one stop. Check out these fun Transformers robots in the skies we're going to open and play with. Sawback is one of them and he's a minicon. He has lots of gear that you can actually armor him up with. And he does work with Autobot Drift. He turns into a disc-like projectile that you can actually deploy from Autobot Drift. And we do have that Autobot Drift that works with Sawback. We're going to show you how that works. We've opened Drift in another video. Be sure to click the eye above to see more fun videos on him and also other robots in the skies. We have a Decepticon we're going to open and it's clamped down. He turns into a truck. That's his disguise. He actually looks like a crab. So he turns from robot to crab into a five-step process. We also have another Minicon and it's Velocirazor. And he's a dinosaur. He also fits with Autobot Drift. And he's used as a projectile. You can actually armor him up as well. The last razor is a minicon. Let's go ahead and open up Sawback. He's a robo dog and he's part of the minicon collection. He looks super easy to convert. We gotta get all his gear. He looks like a wolf dog, a robot wolf dog that is, and he converts into this disc-like projectile and he fits with Autobot Drift. With this one in particular, let's go ahead and convert this and make it into a car. This is the one that transforms into a car. Let me see if I remember this. You know, you have to pop his knees. And snap everything into place. He's loaded and ready to fire. I have another minicon here that fits with Autobot Drift, and this is Beast Box. He looks like a gorilla in disguise, and he's also a projectile for Autobot Drift. So this one is a really versatile toy, actually. It fits with a lot of the robots, the minicon robots. And he also works as a projectile. So you can armor up Drift with all of these Minicons, and he's going to be more powerful. To convert Sawback back into dog robot mode, it's super simple. You pull him apart, and here he is in his beast form, or robot's best friend. And you can actually armor him up with all this gear here. Whoa, check him out already. There's even a flame for his tail. This is really cool. He looks really intimidating. Now let's go ahead and open Velocirazor. He's the Dinobot and he's also a Minicon. He fits with Autobot Drift as well. It takes one step to convert him. And he has gear that you can armor him up with as well. Velocirazor. And to convert him, it's just one step. You bring everything back and you tuck it in. And now he's a disc-like projectile as well. He's very similar to all the other Minicons. They all transform in the same way and they become a projectile for Autobot Drift. Load him up and fire! To convert him into robot mode, it takes one step. 
You pull everything out. Let's go ahead and see him with his gear on as well. He has tons of it. He kind of looks like a chicken now. <laughs> but he's definitely a dinosaur because you can see his claws here. And his tail. Whoa, check him out. Super cool. Check them out. The two minicons. One is a dog and one is a dinosaur. Let's also open Clampdown, the Decepticon. He transforms from crab to truck. So that's pretty interesting. It does take five steps to convert him. I think I've lost one of his eyes. Oh, here it is. Let's go ahead and attach it. Check him out. He looks pretty scary. He's got a jaw that opens. Or slightly opens. And he definitely looks like a crab. Some sort of a crab, at least. He's one of the mini robots. And he's actually the same size or similar to the mini cons in size. Let's go ahead and convert him into truck mode. He's not very hard to convert. He seems super easy. Yeah, this is very self-explanatory. And then he snaps into place here. He's a mini truck with eyes and a mouth, of course. Super cute. Although he's a Decepticon, he does look cute. He rolls on wheels and he's always looking for trouble. <laughs> Let me show you how to convert him back into robot mode. That shouldn't be too hard. He just flips over. He's actually less than a five step process robot to me. So that's one. Here's two. Three. And that's it. He's actually a three step process to me. He's super simple to convert. And then he's very simple to convert back. And he's really tiny. So you can fit him in your pocket. This time is Optimus Prime versus Bulgen. You can actually armor up Optimus Prime and he converts into a fun truck. There are seven accessories included. And Optimus Prime is a five-step robot, so you convert him into a five-step process, while Bulgen is actually a one-step Decepticon. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open these up and play with them. Here's Optimus Prime in robot mode. This is a smaller to medium robot. And he's actually pretty fun. He does convert into a truck. You can see the truck parts here. That's the cabin. His middle doesn't seem to be twisting. So let me see if I can figure this one out. This looks easier than expected actually because look at that. So far three steps. And then I have to figure out what to do with these parts, probably twist them in. I actually have to twist everything up. These two have to be together. This is it, guys. It's a very fun truck mode. 
Now we also have Bulgin, and he looks like a Viking. He's a Decepticon that takes one step to convert, and he rolls up into a ball. This is very similar to the other Decepticons we've unboxed that are part of Robots in Disguise. So we have the two robots that are actually in their disguise forms and then we can convert them back into their robot mode. And that should be easy to do. Here's Optimus Prime. He just opens up. Optimus Prime has some tools you can fit him with. That's pretty powerful. Check him out! He's super armored. Check out this fun Transformers Robots in Disguise. It's Steeljaw. And he's a miniature robot this time. Hey, what was that? <coughs> Let me see that, Patrick. Oh, that's so fast. What's up with this black motorcycle here? I earned it from the next floor. This is awesome. And it's a pullback one, right? No. Yeah, you pull it back and then you have to let go. Steeljaw is a Decepticon, and it actually takes four steps to convert him into a mini truck. He's a werewolf. Here he is in robot mode. He's so small, he fits into your pocket. He's actually the size of a minicon. He's a pocket toy. We've opened other robots in disguise, including Clampdown, Wingblade, as well as Undertone. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Steeljaw. This shouldn't be too hard to transform. Looks pretty easy. You just fit all the pieces into place and snap them together. He's into car mode. And to convert him back, you just pull everything apart. Doesn't take much. You can see his werewolf tail here.
Well, that's it for us, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And also, click the like button. Leave a comment down below as well. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video.